Ambush. It was a trap. The Republic were waiting for us at the shield generators. We're under heavy fire. I don't know how long we can... Did you hear that? Somebody's played us for fools. The Republic artillery base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. Hmm. Sounds like more work for me, then. Joy. The Empire might save itself the expense of an army and just hire me next time. We don't have time to scramble another squad to the generators. Remember, you won't be able to reach the Republic's artillery until the ray shield is down. Take out the shield generators, and then destroy the guns. Contact me at the Republic base once both the shield generators and the guns are destroyed. My men will move in and clean up. Joy. So what you're trying to tell me is he can have men go in and clean up after we're done, but he can't afford to have them go in and clean up the mess now. I tell you what, Vet. This is just completely unacceptable with how awful this operation is running. If this man didn't have such a great big old stick up his butt, we wouldn't be nearly in this predicament now, would we? But we'll get the shield generator destroyed as requested, and then we'll let his people in, and they can do all the cleanup, and I assume also get all the credit for it. But that's fine. Not like it's anything new to us now, is it? Where on is these? Ah, I was wondering if you'd noticed me. Hello. Now, listen, I, to go. normally I don't know if I take such a violent approach so fast, but I got to tell you, that moth, he's really just ticked me off to no end. It's awful, isn't it? I mean, he's a very awful individual for a variety of reasons, none of which I'm sure you would see the same way that I do. I, but there it is. And now you're dead. Thank you for listening, though. It was a pleasure. So are we just going in and killing as we go? Probably. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna do- yes, do this. It's really all I can think to do at this point. Because I don't think anybody's really going to just stop and talk to us. Not that I really want to talk to anybody anyways. So, we'll just handle them. Excellent. Expertly done, Vet. I think we have to be somewhere near the right place, right? Uh, ah, I think that there's something up ahead that we need. Let's just end these two first, shall we? Hello! Honestly, fighting with you has kind of put me in a slightly better mood. I'm not gonna lie, I was before in such a dreadful mood, but now that I get to attack the Republic and, you know, unfortunately you're that person for me right now, I, I do feel better, it's nice. Thank you for this, by the way. I really do appreciate you taking the time to fight with me in such a fun and, well, I mean, I would say challenging manner, but that really wasn't a challenge at all now, was it? First shield generator. Excellent. Now, where do we think the other one is? Across the way, but what's the best way to get there? Oh, no. This way, perhaps? Up and around? Is that a bridge I saw? Of sorts? I think I found the next one, but or the second one, I should say, because I don't think we have any more after this. Was there somebody literally hiding in the snow? Oh, wasn't that cold? Hmm. That's fine. Creative hiding spots. I can, uh, I can appreciate that. I'm not going to save them, but still, I appreciate. So, wow, you handle that so well. I know you want to get out of here just as much as I do, but still, let's do this. Now we'll go find some artillery guns. I assume up that way, maybe. So we will go around? That's got to be where they are, right? Through here? Uh, oh, you! Brave. It's brave, but foolish. I can get behind that just a bit. It's true. Oh, wait, you're still alive. Whoops. Can't have that now, can we? You're good to go. Thank you. All right, let's get this artillery gun handled. Fantastic. Two more, is it? Perfect. I do love when it goes boom like that, though. 
All right, you two. Listen, I have things to do if you don't mind. Yes, I know, I know. I'm sure whatever you think you're doing is rather important, but I promise you it's not nearly as important as what I'm trying to do, which is get all of this done and help so people leave me alone so then I can go back to my ship and forget while we were ever here. You too! Just all of you. Nobody has any respect for my alone time. And this should be the second gun, if I'm not mistaken. Ha! Yeah. Ugh. You do realize that I just killed all of your friends, right? And you didn't even notice that I was doing that? And now you want to... Honestly. You all are so unobservant and observant all at the same time. It's rather mind-numbing. Honestly, you know who else is like that? The Jedi. They like to pretend that they're so observant and this and that. And then they miss the obvious and then all of a sudden they become observant at the last possible minute just so then that way you don't think that you know they're incompetent but well, we know better don't we vet and this gun done are you going to explode too nicely for me wait for it ah beautiful I do love that part of this. That honestly, Vet, this kind of makes the frustration of being here worth it to see just gigantic guns go boom. It's, it's the little things in life that make me happy sometimes. For instance, Shriek. When we get Shriek a, a new, uh, you know, a new toy or a new snack and they get so happy. It's, it's very similar to that right now. You know, it's just, it's a little tiny thing that's so easy to do but brings so much joy. Where is this? This sec last gun. Okay. I believe somewhere on the other side might possibly be what I need. Oh, I see. You are standing guard. Isn't it awkward that they left you just standing guard of a panel? Oh, not this again. Honestly. You get to die. And I am going to enjoy it. I hate to say it, but it's true. Actually, I don't hate to say it. You probably hate me saying it. <laughs> Think you scare me? No, but they don't, they know that they don't scare you, which is why they make those noises because they're hoping that, I don't know, by going, oh, you'll be just a tiny bit more frightened, which never works. Honestly, all it does is make me laugh. This last gun. Oh, vet, you might want to get down from there. We're about to make it go boom. This way now. Ah, beautiful. All right. Shall we continue on? The guns are destroyed. We're slicing the Republic's computers now. Let's see what they're doing out there in the cold. Ah, Master Caden's killer. He was a good man and will be sorely missed. I'm sure he will but be. But killing one great man is never enough. The Republic has always thrived on the effort of its united citizens. Lieutenant, input the coordinates of the Imperial base into the ELX-25 and fire when ready. Give my regards to Moff Regis. Blast! The ELX-25 was only supposed to be in planning stages. If it's operational, it could obliterate our base with a single shot. You are absolutely pathetic. You reek of fear. We have to improvise. Based on estimates of the ELX-25's range and the origin of the Admiral's transmission, it should be at these coordinates. We have limited time, and you're closest. Destroy that weapon. Why not just kill the Admiral instead? Or both. I'm also fine with both. I hope the Admiral's still around when I get there. Me too. The Republic will answer for this. Destroy the ELX-25, or we'll have no choice but to retreat from Ilum. Honestly, as much as I hate the idea of retreating, I also don't mind the idea of leaving this place. So, I'm of two minds. One is we don't quit. Ever. The other is, I hate it here, and it's cold. Don't you hate when that happens? All better. All right, we found them. Nice. They just had this little base sitting down here. Honestly, isn't it? Well, you're a droid, but isn't it cold for the rest of you? How do you work in such conditions? I'm always very curious by the... Uh, well, Republic's methods, if you don't mind me asking a little bit more detail about all of this. 
how have you stayed in such high spirits that you think you could possibly hope to defeat me kind of thing, you know? Because honestly, that takes some real positive attitude to see a Sith come in and murder quickly and to think that you still even remotely have a chance, you know what I mean? It is adorable, though. Honestly, I'll not remember this at all, but at the moment, as in right now, I'll think of this very fondly. Okay, you? Who's left? Excuse you. Thank you. I, I do appreciate you all taking the time to be here and to say hello. And if you could die, that would be great. You too? Perfect. Why are there so many of you in this one spot? I guess this gun really is as important as uh, all the moth was making it out to be, which I find to be fascinating. That are you all right over there? Now that I do believe this place is cleared out, shall we uh, disable this gun and see if we can find ourselves an admiral? Well, that was certainly not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. I mean, granted, the gun going boom was fantastic, but the Admiral never showed. I was kind of hoping he would. How did the Republic learn of our plans? I don't know. You tell me. All the more reason the Empire needs to reimagine itself for the changing times. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. Moth, you do realize... How incredibly wrong you are currently, right? You just sound incompetent. It's going to take superior technology and superior numbers to defeat the Republic. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. The main fleet is going to batter the exposed side to oblivion. The objective is to claim the Republic crystal supplies, kill Admiral Shai, and open the docking bay door so Imperial forces can clean up. You'll be entering through this tunnel and hitting deep within the mountain where the fleet can't reach. And while you and the main fleet give the Republic a beating, I'll prep the Crystal Fleet for the transfer of the Republic's crystals. All right. A two-pronged attack. Are you on board? I've come this far, haven't I? Of course I'm on board. I'm going to see this through to the end, even if I freeze. I came to Ilum to win this war. I'm not going to quit now. If you're ready, Darth Malgus. The Dark Council has placed me at your command. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. All right, so the crystal should be down here, right? If I'm correct? Oh, because this doesn't look awful. Look at how many of them are just lined up to die. All right, listen, we're not even going to bother asking questions, but not that I ever really ask questions to begin with, but we're most certainly not going to ask them this time around. Instead, we're just going to, well, do what we came here to do. It'll be great. Just end all of them, and then, uh, get what I came for. Yes, I know, you're very, very scary with your gigantic gun and all that, but I have lightsabers. Hmm, looks like a batch of crystals in here. Hello, Jedi! Am I here to fight you so I can destroy your crystals? I would believe so. I don't know how to tell you this, but you're about to fail spectacularly if your mission was to protect them. You'll be dead, though, before uh, I destroy them. So, unfortunately, I won't get to enjoy how much you hate the fact that I beat you. But just know, I'm going to. It'll be glorious. Done. Excellent. These two vets, they seem to be protecting a whole bunch. Hello, excellent, good. You're good to go. Mm-hmm. It's kind of odd, isn't it, though, that they put the uh, Jedi so in the center of the room. You'd think that for the protection of the crystals, they would have put the Jedi closer to them as a last line of defense, but I guess not. And then it looks like we have this one. All these different shields. Hello, 
you two. How are you? Oh, now one. So sorry, but it just, it had to happen. I'm sure you understand, right? No? Maybe? Well, it doesn't matter if you do or don't. All right, so this should be the last shield in this room, I assume. Good! You must be who I'm here to fight. You literally let me walk up to you like I was about to go take the crystals and you didn't seem to care too much. Oh, you have an apprentice. Sorry, you call them Padawans, right? How adorable. Okay, your turn. I'm just gonna take these crystals. So really and truly, it's you. You were protecting them and I'm gonna, oh, so the other Jedi that I taunted, that was incorrect? It should have been you I was taunting. Well, I'm sure you heard them because you Jedi I've heard have excellent hearing. So just take all the taunts that I gave to your friend over there and apply them to yourself. If you would be so kind. Thank you. Okay. Look at all these crystals. All right, Vet. It seems that we have the uh, crystals under our control. Excellent. And now... Oh, it seems that we have a welcoming party. I was going to suggest that... Oh, good. They're all very self-sufficient. Fantastic. I was going to suggest, though, that we go see if we can find... Remember that Admiral? Let's see if we can find him. And, well, say hello. And by that, I mean say hello, but violently. I know it's not that, but it almost looks like some kind of mad laboratory. Of sorts, you know? And he was the, uh, crazy scientist. I assume that this is the Admiral I wanted to talk to. I hope you understand the futility of all of this. No. You claim the crystals for the Empire. Mm -hmm. They build their armada. We will find a way to detect it, to destroy it. Okay. And then the Empire will build something bigger and better. On and on and on. Until we destroy each other or the galaxy. Don't you think you're being a little dramatic with all of this, no? I think the Empire will win long before it comes to that. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Excellent. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. Or yours. Oh. What is this? Fine, vet. Let's defeat his infernal contraption and then, you know, destroy him. Because now he's just made me angry. Good. Oh, I see. You brought friends in because you think that that's gonna help you? Uh, no. Not at all, actually. Okay, good. And then I'm just gonna let them go be them. And I'm going to come here, get this. Excellent. They have repair droids, vet. Oh, I think the other one got repaired. Hopefully it's only one repair droid per a... Uh, Terminal. We'll find out in a moment, won't All we? Better. Ah, pff. debatable. Highly, highly debatable. Vet, follow. Oh, never mind. Let me help you for a minute, because I don't want anything to happen to you. Shriek would never forgive me. I mean, I wouldn't forgive me, but you know, most importantly, is not upsetting Shriek. Okay. Good. Almost there. Oh, you brought a friend. How many of you are there? You can't keep calling in for reinforcements over there, Admiral. Cheater, cheater. I like it. I do believe he's the last one, though, Ben. All right. Good. While we're here, we might as well just take out this one. Okay. Good. Where's the repair droid? Every time, for the love of. All right. They just send in a whole new... What is there, some kind of, like, internal signal we don't know about? 
More of you. All right. Well, hello. How are you today? Uh, I'm here to murder you, apparently, uh, just like I did your friends. And I'm sorry that you got caught up in all that. You know, it's just terrible. Thank you, Vat. It appears we have two more to do. Or is it only one more? Maybe it's only three. Oh, I wish I had known about that stupid repair droid ahead of time. I mean, it's not like he's going to give away all of his secrets, right? I wish he would. It would make my life so much easier. Oh. Apparently there was only one repair droid per. Hello! How are you today? Ready to die? Kind of hope so. Where'd he go? Vet? Okay, good. Oh no. Did you bring friends? Come on, bring it. I did bring it. He brought a friend, Vet. And he heals? <sighs> what an annoying admiral he is. I mean, we'll still kill him, of course, but still, he's annoying. Where did he go? Is that. Nope. Where is he, Vet? All right, first him. Then you. Now, where is he? Okay. I don't know if you're healing, healing, but you sure are annoying. Vet. He's gonna almost be dead, right? Whew. And here we go. I suppose you think that if you just kill me, this will all be over. What did I tell you about destroying great men? I have no the idea. The Empire will fail because it insists on being a set of individuals rather than a true citizenship. Because it insists on pushing everyone else to the margins. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. That is... that is a premium line of... something that you feature... That's how you get out of bed in the morning, huh? Is by telling yourself these lines over and over. Like, do you literally wake up and just repeat that to yourself every single morning? Well, I have good news for you. I've absolutely heard enough. Your life is about to end. 